Welcome back. Our TV6 is putting our resources behind hiring Hoosiers in order to help connect you with meaningful employment and training. This month, we are sharing stories of programs and schools that help prepare our youngest minds for their future careers in a wide range of fields. And right now, one of those industries is looking for more people who are professionally trained. Our TV6's Alyssa Donovan takes us inside a program that's giving students a shot at a great job in the community. I decided to choose this program because I've always had a fascination with cutting hair. James Taylor is a senior at Pike High School. He's in his second year of barbering. The student working on his hair is in his first year. They all practice on each other. Um, every student has a different hair texture, hair type, so that gives them experience on um, all walks of life. Taylor is one of 40 students in the program. Students learn barbering basics, which are different than what they'd learn in a cosmetology school. Cosmetologists typically don't use straight razors on the skin, barbers do. Um, the barbering curriculum also goes more into depth as it pertains to the skin. Those in the program also learn skills that will help them in any career. I've been learning a lot about professionalism and how to run a business. The opportunity, an important one for Taylor and his peers. While he plans to go on to college, he knows that's not the path for everyone. I want to go to college, but not a lot of people do, so it's good to have another option that's healthy and, you know, uh, legal. The program can be a stepping stone for those who want to pursue higher education, or students can jump right into the workforce when they finish. Working for you, I'm Melissa Donovan, RTV6. Melissa, thanks, and students are eligible to receive college credit while taking part in the program. They will all graduate with a license that prepares them to go straight into a barber shop and start working. For a closer look at this and other programs we have profiled in Hiring Hoosiers, head to our website, hiringhoosiers.com. Pinball, Frogger, and Pac-Man, they are all fun games you can play at an arcade, but how about ones that entertain kids while educating them? at the same time. As part of our TV6's Hiring Hoosiers, we'd like to find ways kids are getting inspired for their future careers. Our Aaron Lish takes us to the State Fair, where Purdue Extension has created the Pixel Play Arcade. How would you like your kids to learn while having fun playing an arcade game? Well, that can happen right here at the Purdue Extension Pixel Play Arcade. Glowing lights and sounds of high scores are coming out of the Purdue Extension Arcade, and there's a big fan of these games. They're realistic. That's kind. Of, that's kind of cool. It's like they're and they're fun. They're hard. They're challenging. Fun and challenging is exactly what Purdue Extension was hoping for. One of the things that we found is one of the easiest ways to teach youth about science or other different educational aspects of it is put it in a game format. Their goal is to get kids interested in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that the youth continue to be involved in science, um, engage in it as they grow up and go through school. The games focus on health and science like good grains and creatures roaming Indiana like hellbenders. But kids don't even realize they're learning. Yeah, I think they're amphibians. Yeah, salamanders, like little salamander things that are endangered in Indiana. I think I have actually seen a real one bringing excitement to learning and a dream of a career in the making. Um, if it can be a little uh, arcade game where they learn a little bit about health and the importance of calcium um, in their healthy diets to make them think about that as their career choice of the future, um, that's what we want to hope to do. Working for you, Aaron Lish, RTV6. Thanks, Aaron. Now, those games were made by students at Purdue, hoping to highlight a variety of topics from wildlife conservation to health. And they'll have the arcade at the Indiana State Fair all this week, and it will also be traveling to local kids' museums. Right now in Hiring Hoosiers, our Rafael Sanchez has a closer look at some of the top employment options in central Indiana. This may be the connection you need, and a Pentonburg with Sturdy on Staffing is here. Take us down to Hendricks County. All right, we're going to get started off with an invoice processor in Plainfield. This person will be helping review contracts, purchase orders, and invoices. You must have proficiency in Word, Excel, Explore, Adobe, and Access. And this is a Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. shift at $15 an hour. Let's head north of the city to Hamilton County. Yes, we need a COBOL developer. This is a three-month contract paying between $40 and $50 an hour. You'd be helping modify some existing programs, create new programs, and do some code reviews. You must have at least 10 years of experience with any combination of RM slash COBOL experience, microfocus, or realia. This one now is in Marion County. Yes, 
We have an operations manager position available. Uh, pay is dependent on your experience, but you'd be helping supervise, coordinate operations. Uh, some knowledge in safety and OSHA is very helpful, and experience in civil construction industry is necessary. Let's head now to Boone County. We've got plenty of machine operators available in Boone County. We always have the warehouse positions available, but this one is a pretty big need for us. We have first, second, and third shift available. Do have to have a lot of mechanical uh, experience, whether that's a hobby or you do it in your job. Um, they do prefer experience with packaging, production, or food machine operating experience, and this starts at $17 an hour. You were telling me that flexibility is key, that you may not see the specific job you want, or this may be the job you want, but you have to be flexible on the entry. Yeah, so there are a couple different ways to go into things. You can go into it directly or you can go into it in a temporary or contract type role. And I don't think people should be afraid of those because it can open up a lot of doors, especially if, especially if it's in the industry that you're looking for. Yeah, especially you if, you, a lot of if you open that door and the people like you, then you get to stay. You get to keep yeah. the chair and the, and the desk and everything Absolutely. else. Absolutely. And the cubicle. <laughs> yeah. How do we contact you? You can give us a call or text us at 317-870-5555 or check out our jobs posted at spherion.com. All of this information as well online at hiringhoosiers.com and these are the jobs of the week.